Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how Book Creator templates are very useful in the classroom. So here I have a template that I made for a science experiment. And so the student would put the title in and it tells them what they need to add here. So this says add text. Here they would add a photo and over here they would add text to add their name. In the prediction right here is where they would type in their prediction and so on and so forth. So if I go back to my books and go to a template as if a student had answered it, then now a student would add in the text. So how far will my paper airplane fly is the title. And then they took a picture of their paper airplane and put their name in, which in this case is my name. And then they make their prediction and then they can record themselves stating their prediction. And then on the next page, they added a list of materials. And then they observe themselves doing the experiment, record themselves, and they can put the video right here. And then lastly, they would put in a conclusion summarizing what happened and explained it, explain if they changed their thinking. So now I'm going to show you how to create your own template. So if I go back out to my books and down here, I'm going to click the plus button and I'm going to do a new book. And for this case, I like to have a lot of workspace, so I'm going to choose landscape. So for adding the title, I could hit the plus button and add shapes. Now to get your icons, like I did in order to have the icons show up for the students, you would want to take a screenshot of which icon you want to use and then tap on the icon and you're going to have to break your screenshot down to a smaller bit here. And then you would have this icon to use. I'm actually going to cut it right down even smaller. So that way it doesn't take up as that much space on the book. And once I have that, then I can click done and save to photos. And then now if I go in and add, let's add a shape this time. So I clicked more and then go to shapes. So I can just kind of make it colorful like I did in my template. And I'm going to choose this orange shape, put it up here. And this is where they'll put the title. And then if I click the I want to mess with it button, the I button, I can change the color of the background, maybe something a little lighter. I can do that by clicking the more button. And then maybe I'll just do like a lighter orange. And then I click apply. And then I'm going to add another shape. And then this will be where they can put the photo. And again, hit the I button, change the color. Maybe I'll go with yellow, maybe a more muted yellow. Click apply. And so this is where they would add the photo. And so I did that screenshot that I did with you just a minute ago. If I hit the plus button, go to photos, and then I go to my camera roll, and that screenshot is right there. So we know that they're gonna add a photo here. And then up here where they're going to add the title, let's do plus and do add text and put in the word title. And let's get the, this right there and click done. And now you probably want to change the size of that. So I'm going to hit the I button and then I'm going to slide my slider and make it a little bigger. Maybe change my font to something a little cooler and then move that there and then maybe I wanted them to type it or do I want to write it with a pen and since I don't have an icon for that I'm going to click the plus button I'm going to take a screenshot and then this time I'm going to use that screenshot and I want to have them add text
I'm gonna make that nice and small. And then click done, save to photos. Now I can go to my photos, choose my camera roll, and then I can click add text. And then this is where they're gonna write their text. Now if you wanted a line here in the title, you could tap on that and then choose to make a line for students to put the title on. And then click done. And with that style, it ends up doing a dotted line. Also, it ended up being a little too many. I can move this over and it looks like I need to erase a couple of them. Let's see, I could play with the fonts instead and go to the I button. Maybe open dyslexia is not the best one for that. We could try that. Here we go. So if you want a solid line, just swip, switch your text out. And it looks like I need maybe one more. Click done. And then I probably should move this over a little bit there. You can also adjust the size if you put your finger on one of the yell uh, the blue dots and you can make it a little smaller by pulling it in towards the center of the picture this one's okay to have nice and big also if i wanted to change the background because the white background's a little boring if you have nothing selected with the blue around it so like this is something selected that means i can work with that picture but if i have nothing selected and then go to the i button this is actually your page backgrounds and they give you a bunch of different ones to choose from I'm gonna go with maybe something a little light let's go with that and then you can add keep adding if you want to go to a new page to add more for what your students are going to put on then you'd go to your new page one more thing that I should show you is to lock in objects in place so that way students aren't moving them all around once they get in there to work on it. If you click on an object, then it lets you work in it, but if you click and hold on it, then it gives you this little menu right up here. If you click the lock button, then now you have these little X's around it. So you're going to want to tap and hold every little thing that you put on and click lock so that way it locks for the students now yeah they can still get into it but they're less likely to mess with it and it'll make it easier for them so things aren't moving all around when they're trying to work on a page once you have a book completed then you go back out to my books up here and go down to the I button down here. And then you wanna change it to what it is. So if this is another type of science experiment that I'm making. And then click done. Now I can click the share button and then if you want to airdrop it to your students in order for them to work on it, you would click right here, export as EPUB. You would airdrop it to your students so their iPads would show up here. Tap on that and then make sure you tell your students to click accept and then open in Book Creator. And then once they open in Book Creator, then they can work on it. If you have any questions, as usual, shoot me an email and I will do my best to help you out.